Hey everybody, it's just me, Jesse here, and today uh, was kind of fun. I got a lot done on my geology project. I just got like like five more questions I need to answer to get like the full points, and uh, yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, out of context, it doesn't. I know you probably don't know what that means, but that means I'm close to finishing. So yes, and uh, so today that happened. I uh, I also had a, a nerf club executive meeting. I'm the vice president of the Nerf Club at Bradley, uh, Bradley University, in case you didn't know that. Uh, Bradley. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was the last Nerf meeting with our with our old executive members. Uh, I'm sure we're going to keep them around at some point, but they're all graduating and I'm, it was hard. It was really hard to see them go, but yeah, it was, they, they're a really good group. And uh, if, you, if any of y'all go to Bradley, definitely come to Nerf Club. Uh, uh, I have some friends uh, that I'm trying to get to go there. They said they were they would go, but hey, guess what? They haven't gone. But anyways, I'm gonna still try to get them to go because you know, hopefully, you know, at least at least it's something that you just gotta try once. You know, it's like you basically you go, they give you a Nerf blaster, and you, you just shoot each other. This, it's like th we have this whole like indoor soccer arena that we use. We have the, like all these inflatables now and like these huge wars. There's about like like seven or eight uh, wars that we have at, uh, every, every Friday night for like two hours. And it's awesome. And um, but yeah, so that's fun. And uh, then, uh, oh yeah, so we ha we're trying to change our regulations. So to get some more information, on uh, on rules and regulations, I actually emailed a famous YouTuber, uh, like who who reviews Nerf products all the time, and I'm really hoping that he'll get back to me because he's uh, he's he's pretty awesome, and uh, I, I watch him like almost every day. It's pretty fun. But anyways, um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I uh, I, I want to say something. Happy birthday to SpongeBob! Uh, it is it is the 21st anniversary of Spongebob. He is, uh, the show is 21 years old today, and yeah, without further ado, here's the song. All right, now in honor of, of Spongebob's 21st birthday, this is I'm a Goofy Goober Rock by Tom Rothrock and Jim Wise. I'm a Goofy Goober Rock. And Jim Wise. <laughs> On to the verse. Hey, so today I'm going to give you a couple of verses in different chapters of, of 2 Samuel. Those verses are verses, let's see. Yeah, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be right about here. It's gonna be 
second uh, Samuel chapter 14 verses 25 and 26 and second Samuel verse uh, chapter 18 verse 9 um, and as well as verse 14 so hopefully I'll type that all in there in a minute uh, so this story is uh, kind of like the worst hair day in the world I mean, you remember a few uh, few videos ago I talked about Samson, that bad hair day? Well, this is kind of worse because this uh, led, well, I mean, led to his death, not by, not by what you, not by like how Samson died. So anyways, what happened was, uh, so King David is, you know, he, he was the king of Israel and he had a son called Absalom. And he's not Solomon, who's the wise, who's uh, the wise one that wrote the book of Proverbs, or most of it. Uh, and um, he's uh, he's like the the beautiful son that David had, that is like as uh, all like standards was just absolutely, uh, you know, they say they say beautiful in here. So it says, or handsome. Sorry. So it says in uh, in Second Samuel, uh, Second Samuel, Second Samuel, uh, chapter chapter fourteen. Verse 25 through 26, it says, In all Israel there was not a man so highly praised for his handsome uh, appearance as Absalom. From the top of his head to the sole of his foot, there was no blemish in him. Whenever he cut his hair, whenever he cut the hair of his head, he used to cut his hair uh, once a year because it, uh, because it became too heavy for him. He would weigh it and and it weighs what it weighed uh, was about 200 shekels by the royal standard. I looked it up. That's about five pounds of hair. So, yeah. Needless to say, he was a little full of himself in his in his appearance. He was he was way too he like you know he he liked too much. He, he loved the way he looked. Um, like you know if you if you do some research in here, he's like he idolized his beauty and that kind of came back to bite him in the butt or in the chest or speared him in the chest if you will <laughs> what happened was um was he was on his he was on his uh, mule he was uh riding through a forest and um for some reason joab which was uh one of the one of the military leaders uh appointed by david uh he was he was chasing like well he didn't like him basically and so what happened when uh, when Absalom was riding through the forest uh, it says in uh, chapter 8 verse 9 now Absalom happened to meet David's men as he uh, well he was riding his mule and as the as the mule went under the thick branches of a large oak Absalom's hair got caught in the tree he was left hanging in midair while the mule was ridden, uh, well, was riding, kept, he was riding, kept on going. So basically, his hair got caught and he just got stuck there. So, like, he's just, like, hanging there by his hair and it's just a bad day, basically. And since Joab doesn't like him, he finds him, well, his men find him. And so his men are just, they talk to Joab and they say, hey, Joab, we just found Absalom. And uh, David had instructed everybody to, not harm Absalom. Actually, he instructed them to be gentle with them and to and because you know you know David loved his son, and so then what uh, what Joab does is in verse fourteen, Joab said, "I'm not going to wait like this for you." So he took three javelins in his in his hand and plunged them into Absalom's heart while Absalom was still alive in the oak tree. Then ten of Joab's armor bearers surrounded Absalom, struck him, and killed him. So that's a bad day. Um, it was so he he just idolized the way he looks, and I feel like a lot of us have have different idols in our lives that we just we just need to get rid of because I mean if we don't we're gonna get stabbed in the chest. I'm kidding. Uh, what's I mean God God is the only like it's like uh, like. Um, the first or second commandment, um, like God is the only is the only God that we should uh, that we, you know, should worship. There's no other God except for Him. Uh, no other God that we should follow except for Him. And so that being that being said, if we have other gods in our lives or other idols, it's it's 
it's disobeying God, really. So, you know, he wants all your worship. He wants all your love. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what, that's what, uh, what I, what I kind of got from the story was, uh, but yeah, anyways, that's, uh, that's today's, uh, reading. I uh, hope you liked it. I hope you, uh, cut your hair once this whole thing's over and I hope y'all stay safe, stay healthy and stay awesome. Please don't go insane Goodbye